Hello, and what is going on today, guys? Tomcat here, and today we are playing Spin Tires, and we are on the newly remastered version of Evans Creek. Now, I haven't really done much with this map. I've just literally installed it, and I loaded it up just now, and to my surprise, the starting point is completely different. I thought it was going to be the same starting point that we were all used to in the normal version of Evans Creek, but uh, this is definitely not the case. I'm also running... Um, Banks' new F-350, um, he's done a, he's kind of done the big three now, he's done a, he's done a Duramax, he's done a Cummins, and now he's done a Power Stroke, so it's definitely a good group of trucks from him, and I, I'm liking his, you know, his little lineup that he's continuing to make, so we've got a few add-ons we can put in this truck, not too, too much, I don't know what this is, oh, it's a light bar, okay, um, a rack, and we can do a gooseneck trailer. I love the fact that all of his trucks come with the gooseneck trailer. It's really, really nice, and it's really, really good that he features that. Let's do the... Hmm, we can do the tools or not. Let's go ahead and do them just till we have them, um, just to make it a little bit more, you know, believable looking, realistic. The rack, I probably won't run it because I don't really like how those look most of the time. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I know it protects... The rear window, but I still don't like the way they look. Uh, for tires, we have the default ones, which are BFGs. Uh, they're probably the same BFGs that we have down here. We've got Swampers, we've got Drift Tires, and we've got Thornbirds. I'm going to run the tires we have on it now because I think they look really good. I think they really suit the truck, and I like the fact that they are... I mean, they stick out of the fenders a little bit, but they're definitely a lot more um, in towards the truck than uh, than a lot of the other trucks that you see out here usually. Like, this, is, this looks like a purpose-built exploration rig and that's what they would use it for so let's get oh yeah right up over the top no problem this thing's got loads of grip Evans Creek definitely went under some uh, some changes though I mean that's for damn sure here's the road oh if you know Evans Creek you'll see here's the road I mean Moron is a veteran map maker and he's done an awesome job with this map and another map that I'm going to show you guys soon called Lost in Washington um, but definitely a improvement from the previous version of Evans Creek now I will say I, I wouldn't say it was a improvement because the previous version is bad or anything like that the previous version is great I mean Evans Creek has always been one of those standby spin tires maps that was always one of the greats you know what I mean to me it was always a go-to map it was always a map that was fun it was always a map that was great for testing and this seems to carry on the spirit of that really, really, really well. Let's see what he's done with this trail over here. He added a bit more, bit more like vegetation to the area. Doesn't seem like he did a ton to the hill itself. I mean, let's see. We charge up it real quick. Same kind of, you know, same corner at the top of the hill. The layout is very similar, um, but not quite, you know, it's, oops. It's not like it's exactly the same map or anything. So, as we saw with the beginning, I'm going to continue down this way for a little while. And then once I get down to uh, the crossroads down here, what we might do is... Let me see if he has any spawn locators. So if he has any locators, that would make it... No, he does not. Okay, that's fine. I was hoping he would, but it looks like he hasn't put any on, which I... I mean, I get it. Like, spawn locators are not... They're not realistic, but they they make it a lot easier to get an, a get like a feel for a map quickly. The map is definitely more difficult with his revision of it. It's definitely a lot more difficult. Definitely a lot more a um, lot more suited to crawlers, trail rigs. You're not going to be getting a logging truck down here unless you've got one hell of a logging truck. But I mean, you there are some logging trucks that will do this. I'm not going to lie. There are some logging trucks that will do this no problem. But your general run-of-the-mill spin tires logging truck is not going to make it down here, uh, down these trails. I mean, it might make it down the way we're, we're going, but even so, a lot of them would probably flip over. Or, the more likely scenario is get stuck. Power through here. Oh, yeah. Easy, easy truck to get through, uh, to get through complicated obstacles and terrain. I mean, it's a really good truck. I mean, I wonder if this could be... This could be Banks' best uh, truck so far. I, I think there's a good chance that it may be. Let's get through here. Climb up the edge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not a problem. This thing literally has... Oh, you know what? I know where we are. This is perfect because we can go ahead and finish this road itself and see where it pops out. Oh, another little trail over there. 
and so many more little trails that open up now. I mean, definitely made it, like I said, a bit more, a uh, bit more dense as far as like you know, uh, landscaping and well, landscaping is not the right word. It kind of is, you know, when you're putting trees and shrubs on a map. I would call that landscaping if you're making or remaking a map. I mean, you know what this feels like to me is whenever they take an older game and do an HD remix of it, this is like, this is basically Evans Creek HD Remix, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's like the coolest thing ever, because Evans Creek, like I said before, was one of those all-time great maps that just maybe needed a little bit of updating, and, and Moron definitely did an awesome job with that. Look at all those rocks over there, too. Like, that's, that's an, that's a blast, I would say. Um, I, that looks like it would be a blast. I might come... You know what? I was gonna say I might come back there, but let's just do it now. Hell, we're exploring the map. We may as well, like, take full advantage of everything that the map has to offer, right? Put it in low three, which, by the way, is very low. Like, the low range in this truck is is low, low. It, it's, it's a really low, low range, which is a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing and, I guess, maybe a bad thing, depending on what map you're on. But I think for the grip levels that this truck is working with, a super low, low range is great. Like, it's fine. No problem. It will uh, it'll go through whatever you put in its way. But this trail, actually, funny enough, I did a towing mission on this trail uh, with the old version of the map. And I guarantee you, you wouldn't be able to do much of a towing mission on it now. Mo definitely made it a lot more difficult and a lot trickier. There's a lot of vehicles that would have trouble with this. This truck, like I said, really, really good, really grippy, so it's not having any problems with it at all. Um, and it's got really good flex, too. Really good flex and big tires, which is a really good advantage for a map like this and for an all-rounder. I mean, this truck is one of those great all-rounders that can be a trail rig, but then it can also haul a gooseneck, so... Not really, I, there's not really anything to complain about with this truck, really. Not really anything to like, you know, to say, oh, there's a glaring thing that needs work or needs fixed. It really just kind of covers all its bases extremely, extremely well. And uh, you can't knock it for that. You really can't knock it for that. Let's stick it in auto, see how it does on the trails on auto with going on and off the throttle. Some trucks get upset with that. Little flexy coming down the hill. Oh, not bad. Okay, I, I feel like it's... Whoa, is that another side cut trail? It is. Yes, it is. All right, perfect. Oh, God. Okay, so when when it's up in second and third gear, if you get into the throttle, it's almost like... It's weird. It won't go at first, and then it'll fire off. It's like... Uh, it's almost like having a turbo that lags. That was just the transmission being dumb. That's the... Okay, never mind. I have something that I don't like on this truck, and that's the, the automatic gearbox, which occasionally... I mean, like, right now it's doing fine. Occasionally it's not that great, like right here where it'll completely stop, go all the way back to first, and then start again. It's just little things like that that will... You know, little nitpicky things with the automatic gearbox mode that sometimes don't totally work with a truck. The tires also do clip through the fenders a little bit, but that's a lot of trucks and spin tires do that. Like, that's kind of something that you have to expect with some of these mods. I mean, now, is it something that can be fixed? Yeah, oh yeah, it's something that can be fixed, but it's like one of those one of those little last details um, that I feel like a lot of people maybe don't fix. So, I don't know. It, it, it could be improved, but it's still a great truck. Another awesome trail over there, too. Like, the trail we just came through is really, really fast. Like, a really fast trail that you could bomb down. I don't even know where this trail is. Like, I don't remember this part from the original map. Um, but it doesn't really matter because there's so much more to explore now. It feels like a new map. I mean, when I started playing it, I, I figured it was going to feel like just some retextured version of the original. But it doesn't. It's, it's about as far from a retextured version of the original as you can get. And let me tell you, dude, that's, that's like, that's, that's an awesome thing for it to be, you know, for it to feel that way, it's, it's, it's awesome. For it to feel like a totally new map, there's not a lot of, like, reworked, remastered maps that can pull that off, and this one definitely pulls it off. I can't wait to play, uh, Lost in Washington, because that's a new map. That's not, like, a remix, that's a new map, so, um, that will be, I think, an, an even more fun map to play. Head down the hill here just a little bit. A little bit of a mud section. Get into it. Oh, come on. Actually, okay, we're gonna do a climbing test with this truck. 
I'm gonna floor it, see if it'll shift it a second. You know what? Actually, no. I'm gonna start off right here, shift it in a high, and go, and see if it'll- Oh my god, yeah. It climbs right up. Like, it literally has no problem just digging in and climbing up whatever you put in its way. Absolutely whatever you put in its way. I mean, it's just a beast! It's an absolute beast. Sticking right over the hill. God, you can absolutely go anywhere. And this map, I think, is... This map is awesome. This this is... This remastered version of, um, of Evans Creek is going to be my new testing grounds. Because it seems like it's got everything. But we gotta try out that Lost in Washington map, see how it is, see what it's like, and maybe we'll develop some new opinions. But this truck is also a beast. So if you guys enjoyed this video and this mod spotlight, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments down below what y'all thought of it. And if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe for more and see these videos in your inbox every single day, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.